Hello everyone, welcome back again. This is Miss Ella to show you guys how you can view your scores and your grades on Google Classroom. Let's get started. First thing that you guys will wanna do is go into your student account. <clears throat> Parents, you can go along with the students as well if you wanna see how their scores are. And you're gonna go into your regular classroom. The stream is where you're gonna just see updates and posts where all the activities are gonna be. And then classroom work is where you're gonna to wanna to see all of your scores. No matter if you're on a iPad, cell phone, laptop or tablet, you're gonna to wanna to find where it says view your work. That's where you're gonna be able to see all of your assignments in one place. It may not be in this area, maybe somewhere else on your device, but view your work is where you're gonna find all of your assignments, where, it's been, where they've been graded, excuse me. As you can see here, all the assignments for the entire time we've been doing online learning, I'm gonna scroll down here to the bottom so that you guys can see, for example. Now, as you guys can see, there are some that have slashes with the numbers, some that say assigned and some that say missing. What you're gonna to wanna to pay close attention to first is going to be the due date. There are some things in here that are called an assignments, but they're not really due. For example, the weekly agenda is not an assignment that's due, it's just a helpful tool to keep you guys organized with your assignments. So there's no due date or grade for that one. But when you look at the top one where it says science and social studies, I'm sorry, social studies map uh, elements, that one is for a grade that is due this week. <clears throat> and as you can see, it's due on April 2nd. When you view details, it's going to show you that you can submit. Right now, it says unsubmitted, which means I have not turned it in yet. When I start working, I can turn it in and put my assignment in. I'm going to show you a past assignment so that you can see your actual scores. As I scroll down, as soon as you're going to want to scroll down so that you can see your assignments, I see that there are some assignments here that, for example, say reading journal. As I scroll, I can see that I've got some comments, and I'm even going to go into where it says view details. In the view details, I can see where I actually, my I, the student, fake student, made a note to my teacher saying, I can see, I cannot see my reading uh, journal. Miss Ella, the teacher, responded saying, you know, a message. So in the private comments, you can, as a student or a parent, you can message me and say, okay, this is what I have. I've turned it in or I have turned it in. I have a question, those kind of things. Those come directly to my email. Even when I've graded an assignment, I may put a comment, good job, or you need to fix. Every single time that I message you, it goes right to your email. And every single time that you message me, it goes to my email. So every single comment comes directly to you on your Google Classroom and your email. So you can't miss any comments. Once you turn something in, it's gonna say submit. This one, as you can see, I've already submitted it. I can resubmit it if I'd like to. At the very top here, right up here in the corner where it says one slash four, that is your grade. That is how many points that you've got out of the total amount. So the one means I got a one out of four. Not a good job, so I'll go back and fix that. But that's just an example that you guys can see. So at the top here you go, again, where's your grade right there? Where you can submit your work, you'll submit it. If, if, if I wanna do this again, if I don't like that grade one out of four, I can click resubmit. And it asks me, are you sure you wanna resubmit this activity? I can say, yes, mark is done. My teacher will grade it, that's Miss Ella. And that way I can get a higher score than what I have. Last but not least, do not always look at this number right here as your final score. For example, this week, everyday math is 6.8. And you're gonna see, for example, when you go into view details, it's gonna say three points. Three points is how many points the activity is worth. That is not how many points that I've got on this activity. As you notice, I haven't even done this activity right down here where it says mark is done. I haven't even turned it in yet. So that score is how many points it is worth, not how many points I got on that activity. You will know exactly how many points you've got once you've turned it in, submitted it, and then you'll see your number slash how many points out of. So that'll be that kind of clears up a few things for you guys. Again, you can always message me privately. You can always see comments that I leave right down here in private comments. If you have a question for the whole classmate, you're not really sure how to do remainders and you have a classmate that knows how to do them, you want to ask them, you can ask them here. When you're turning in your work, you turn it in here. And then you can always, again, check your scores at the top. Remembering that the whole number there is how many points the activity is worth, not how many you got on it. When you see a slash by a number, these kind of numbers here, that's how many points you got on the actual activity. I hope that makes a little bit more sense for you guys. Please let me know if it does not and I will uh, touch you guys privately or give you a message. Hope that makes a little bit more sense and uh, if you have more questions, please let me know. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a great day.